Okay, the next thing we want to talk about is back stitching, and I like to compare back stitching to making a necklace. If you've got beads and you've got some thread and you're going to make a necklace, well, you cut the thread and then you have to tie a knot in one end of the thread before you can start putting beads on. Because if you put beads on, they're just going to fall all the way through. So once you've got all the, the knot in, you can put the beads on, and then once you get your necklace all done, what do you have to do to the other end of the thread? Well, you have to tie a knot in that also. Okay, if you don't, then all the beads are gonna fall off. Same applies to sewing. If you don't tie a knot at the beginning and at the end of when you're sewing, whatever it is that you've made can eventually fall apart. So we call that back stitching. And the way that we back stitch is we're gonna use this button right here. I'm gonna go forward about three to five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna hold this button in. And while I hold it in, while I hold it in, I'm going to start sewing again and it's going to go in reverse. And we're gonna go back the five stitches and stop. And then I'm gonna let go of the blue button and then I'm gonna start sewing again and I'll go forward. I'm gonna go all the way down to the end of my paper. Once I get to the very, very end, I stop, hold in the back stitch button, go back five stitches, release, and then continue sewing onward to the end and then I stop. Okay, and that's called back stitching. You're gonna do that every time you start to sew. Let's see if we can get a good look at this, how it looks. Up at the top and down at the bottom, you can see the holes are a little bit bigger. So that's back stitching.